name is Kayla Stevenson. I am a Memphis, Tennessee native. This is my first book. It's called Monday Mornings, A Cup of Laughter. It's a funny book about dealing with people at work that sometimes can give you the blues. It's about that co-worker that steals your lunch out of the refrigerator. It's about that co-worker that um, throws you under the bus sometimes. And sometimes we all have a co-worker that we're really good friends with and then they get a promotion and they don't know you anymore. So it's a real funny way of, of dealing with things we deal with at work with people because we, we're going to deal with people, with a diverse group of people sometimes in our lives and we work, you know, you, you, you have to work. So it's just a funny way of, of how to deal with people to give you the blues. Sometimes you pull up to work, you be like, Lord, I don't want to deal with these folks. But sometimes we're the problems too. So the book, it deals with everything. It deals with the dirty D, the person that leaves the bathroom looking like World War III. It deals with the uh, shyster. That's your coworker at, at work that when the holidays come, they'll say, somebody broke in my house and stole all the children's toys. And then y'all do a donation then and say, wait a minute, she don't have no children? Wait a minute, she just got us. So it's just real fun. It's, it's 20 chapters. And like I said, this is my first book and I'm real silly and love to laugh. So that's why I called it Monday Morning is a Cup of Laughter. Okay. Uh, how long did it take you to write the book? Well, oh, there's a story. <laughs> well, see, many, many years ago, I wrote the manuscript to it and lost it. And so I found a paragraph a couple of years ago and said, let me start writing my book. And it took me about a good 60 days to write the manuscript because it was already in my head based on the experience of what I went through. So it didn't take long at all. When, when you're really passionate about something, you're gonna get it done by any means necessary. And you're gonna learn how to sacrifice, and that's what I did. I would come home every day and, and write for like two or three hours until I had my manuscript and the chapters that I wanted, because I knew it was something that I wanted to do. So was being an author something you've always wanted to do? Girl, this is a dream come true, because I stepped out on faith and did it. I've dreamed about this. Like I say, it's chapter 20 of my book is called From the Author's Pen, and it's about you can't escape what's meant for you. So when you're really passionate about something, you, you're going to do it. And so as a result, I did it. So when did your book come out? It came out July 15, 2016. So it, I'm new. I'm, brand, I'm like brand new, y'all. So, do you have any other books that's cooking in your head? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have actually two more books I'm working on. Uh, I'm, I'm an avid motorcyclist, so I ride bikes. And um, I got my first book. It's called Sister. It's a fictional book, and it's about these women that ride motorcycles, but it's after they park their bikes when life takes over. And then the third book that I have, it's about uh, the relationship between fathers and their daughters. And what I did, I interviewed like 30 men who had daughters, and um, it's excerpts that I have from them, and I'm asking them the question, what is it that you want to teach your daughter? So I'm working on that too. But I, haven't named, I haven't named it yet. I don't know what to name it yet. It hasn't came to me yet, but yeah, I got to. Book's coming. Okay, so you did mention you're a native Memphian. Yes, I am. I'm born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee. Mom and dad, and they're retired. Hey, y'all. So, I mean, when you was like a child growing up in Memphis, um, were you like an avid reader? Did you always write? Were you one of those kids always wrote the best stories in the class? My parents believe there are five of us, five kids. And every summer, they made us go to the library. They made us go get a book, and then they made us do a book report. So that's just something my mom did when school was out. You couldn't sit at home and play. You had to go to the library. But I think it was her way of getting rid of us. That's why she did it. Okay, how can we, how can um, our audience get your books? I am on Amazon.com under Kayla Stevenson. I'm also on Facebook under Kayla Stevenson. I'm on Instagram under Memphis Diva 99. And you can email me at Kayla Stevenson 1970 at gmail.com. And I do deliver here in Memphis, y'all, so don't be scared to email me. <laughs> now, have you met any, um, have you uh, met any book clubs uh, here in Memphis that reached out to them? I did meet some ladies from here, Soul Sisters. I'm not sure, but they're walking around with black shirts with little red bling bling glitter on. And um, they said they're going to call me. Y'all better call me. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm like this all the time. So can you imagine if I'm like this, what's in this book? Y'all better get this book. Monday mornings, a couple laughter. It's about dealing with people at work that can give you the blues, but I can give you some real funny stories and perspectives on how to deal with people. Get it, y'all. <laughs> well, thank you, and much success on your book, uh, Monday Morning. Much. Yeah, this is my first interview. She rocks. She's doing good. Get it, girl. For so what? Take you a couple laughter with you, my friend. It's got some biscotti in there, girl. It's got some and uh, I had some wine bottles <laughs> and my book signed, but I ain't no, you know, cause you know, I'm, well, I'm gonna tell you a story. So, in my book signing, yeah, you gotta turn it off. <laughs>